Paul Sheboygan. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to whatever this show is called. My name is Thrash Commander, and I'm pretty sure I used this Kirby song already, so let me change it real quick. Let me just... Alright, that's better. You know, it's great to have some fresh Kirby music in here. Anyways, today's episode was going to be about sponsoring content, but I'm going to need at least one good friend to help me out with that, so uh, if you want to do some sketch comedy, hit me up. Now, today's episode is about the wonderful world of cancel culture. Me? I love cancel culture, man. Let's cancel some more fuckers. This is a lot of fun. But, you know, I guess this episode is more centered around myself. Now, I don't think I'll ever be famous. I don't have any plans to be famous. Yeah, it's probably not gonna happen. But, just in case it does, I'm not gonna let someone else have the fun of finding all the skeletons in my closet, so I'm gonna do that for you. Let's expose myself, shall we? And I know what you guys are here for, and we will get to that later. You know, we got we got other stuff to cover first. But first... Boy, do I have a funny story to tell you. No, man, I can't do this. I know I do this every episode, and it wasn't funny the first time, and it's never going to be funny, so let's just... So there I was. I was, uh... I was having a motorcycle race against a dragon. Uh, but yeah, fucking, uh... He's like, um... I am the king of dragons, you will never be able to out-race me. And then I'm just like, yeah, whatever, I got like, the power of friendship or some shit like that. But yeah, it was actually a photo finish, like, we saw the photo and I came out on top by like, just, just like, that much, you know, smaller in my dick. But yeah, we're checking out that photo finish, and in the background of the photo, there's, there's just a guy eating bananas, man. You, you saw that coming, I mean, come on. So there I am, just fucking hanging out with the fucking Dragon King, <laughs> and we're just, we're just not, you know, we're laughing about bananas. That's the punchline. Alright, we got that out of the way, now I can take a food break. Oh, that's right, before we move on, uh, before I forget, uh, we gotta announce the winner of the last video. PlayStation 5, congratulations, you've won yourself a Mr. Noodles. Hi. Hey. <gasps> congratulations to PlayStation 5 for winning a Mr. Noodles. You're the big winner. Okay, bro. Lol. But the real winner was all of us. Okay. Because the real treasures that we found were the boys that were back in town. Right, Mr. Noodles? Hi. Yes, sir. Hi. Okay, bro. Wow, look at all these boys that are back in town and playing Monster Hunter and just having a good time. It really warms my heart. I love you guys. Anyways. Now, before I get into whatever I'm gonna do after this, uh, I've got a quota to hit of spastic cutaways to make sure anyone under 30 is still watching, so... <laughs> hey, where'd the music go? Sammy, you wanna be in the video? You wanna be in the video? She's a little Sammy, don't you wanna be in the video? Sammy, come on, be in the video. There's the doggo gonna be in the video. No, there's no video, Sammy. You gotta be famous, Sammy. You're gonna be famous. I mean, unless I get cancelled. So easy to do, she like to drown in the water. I just wanna see it, it's just me. Well, 
Alright, I think I made sure anyone under 30 stuck around, but uh, in the process I might have scared away anyone over 40, and I gotta be honest, I kinda want them more and I want you kids. Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah, why did I do that? Why am I doing any of this? Alright, well, let's push that existential crisis aside for now, and let's get into all the bad shit I've ever done, so, you know, I don't ever get famous. Yeah, no, it's just as simple as that, so, we're gonna start with the pretty fairly reliable source. Let's go ask my parents, yeah? Go. Okay, so, uh, worst thing Eric ever did. Uh, I've got a long list here, but, uh, <laughs> um, to me, the worst one was, uh, one night in the middle of the morning, Eric drove out to do something, help a friend or something. I don't know exactly why he left out the home, but uh, he was driving back from having done his Good Samaritan deed. He was going just a little bit too fast on a road that was curved, uh, hit the curb, lost control of the car, and he drove right through a fence into the backyard of a house, kept going, drove through and knocked over a cement fountain, kept going, drove through the front gate of that house through their front yard back onto the street and eventually drove about another block and a half before he stopped because the car was falling apart. It turns out the home that he drove through happened to be one of my best friends and uh, that turned out to be a good thing because he knew Eric and did everything possible to minimize uh, anything that Eric would have to pay because everything was covered by insurance. So he, he got away really, really lucky even though he destroyed his car, two fences, and a fountain. Nice. <laughs> I have one. Make sure it's recording there. The worst thing Eric ever did was that um, he used to go to church really early in the morning, and there was this fat kid in the class that always used to open the window. And Eric were always was always uh, skinny, and so he, him and his friends were always cold, but this fat kid who opened the window. It, that was like 6.30 in the morning, so they were really cold. So one day, Eric, his friend, had an idea that we went to a uh, scout meeting at church at night in the same place they had the church meeting in the morning. So Eric and his friends decide to glue the window. And so after that, the bishop called us that Eric and his friend need to go and clean the window and unglue the window. That's what the thing, one of the things that Eric did bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah that, he would also, he was trying to work out to get skinny, so he would come in really sweating and really hot and open the window. And so, yeah, that's another little backstory. Thank you. Yeah, that was some good content from my parents, wasn't it? Damn. Yeah, that first story, I think it was 21, 22, I was on a suspended license. I was giving my weed dealer a ride home so I could get some weed. And, uh, and I hadn't driven in a while, and uh, I was feeling the inner highway star in me, and I was doing 70 miles an hour in a residential area. And I'm just lucky I survived the crash, and that the house, the yard I crashed into was my dad's friend. So, uh... Yeah, this is my dad's friends, and insurance covered everything. I got out of that with a speedy ticket on a suspended license. Damn. I got lucky. I'm surprised they didn't tell the story of me getting kicked out of church. That's a fucking doozy. Uh, that's also a long one. Uh, here, I'll shorten it. Uh, I thrashed the place. I just absolutely thrashed it, and the... Uh, teacher came crying to my dad and said your son's not welcome here and that was kind of a traumatic moment for them that I wasn't allowed there anymore so yeah that was probably too awkward for them to tell not to mention I was a heroin junkie 15 years ago wait 2009 2007 good lord that was 15 years ago oh god I'm old yeah, 15 years ago, fucking, I was a junkie, I did a lot of bad things, I stole from people I cared about, I took advantage of people, I was a fucking mess and everyone stopped being my friend. I'm fucking glad that was 15 years ago and no one remembers it, see? 
That's what this video is for. Let's all have fun taking the skeletons out of my closet, alright? I'm just trying to think of anything else that might be important before we get to the main event. I mean, uh, there was, there was that time my friends were smoking a bowl in their car and I like ran up and I smashed my dick against their windshield. Got all my dick grease on there and shit. I, yeah, I, you can cast me over that, right? Oh, there was that time I licked, uh, I licked some of my own pee to avoid, you know, getting in trouble. I mean, man, I was three. I've been telling this story for like 30 years. Oh yeah, there was that time my neighbors moved out and uh, I pooped in their chimney and I got caught and I had to like ram the neighbors. Their neighbors called the cops. I mean, just fucking, you know. All right, I'll stop beating around the bush. Let's get to the main event, shall we? So I see a lot of my lady friends dealing with a lot of really thirsty dudes in their inboxes, you know being silly as hell, and I thought to myself, how do I get a piece of that pie? So, I had a lady friend come over, do a little bit of makeup on me, used a gender swap app from, I think it was Snapchat or something, and I got to Photoshop it. Alright. Allow me to introduce you to Pasta Girl. <laughs> Alright, that was a bad introduction. <laughs> Fucking uh, good timing, though. Anyways, folks, it is a pleasure to introduce to you Pasta Girl 69420. So, yeah, not too bad, right? Anyways, yeah, go ahead and send me a friend request or follow whatever Instagram does. I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's been a minute since I had any thirsty dudes in my inbox, but, uh, I'm not here to expose them, you know. I'm here to expose me. So, let's do that. Alright, you're gonna want to strap yourselves in for this. I'm gonna reveal to you the full album. Let's do this. So, the ones at the top are the ones that, uh, that I edited to make passable, and the rest that just did not work. Oh, I, as you can see, I got quite spicy with this photo shoot, so let's get started. So yeah, fucking look at me, man. I'm fucking cute as shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> then you can kind of kind of see the shoulders there. See what I did? You see what I did there? Yeah, magic. Yeah, still looking pretty good. Mm, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I'm pretty drunk, but you know, still looking pretty good. Yeah, so the dudes, the dudes flirting with me got to have bad eyesight, you know. I'm pretty sure I took that one down because it was a little obvious, but I mean that. I mean, hell yeah, that one's pretty good though, right? Look at me, I'm fucking adorable. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I took that one down. That was a little too obvious. That one too. I could have made the nose a little smaller. A little too obvious. Uh, in hindsight, there we go. There's that's the gold. That's the winner. Hell yeah. Good shit, man. Anyways, yeah. Hang on, there's the, the pizza profile picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put some uh, fucking socks in my shirt. Make it look like we got some titties. Looking good. Yeah, would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. Hell yeah. You know that joke was coming. But no, seriously, I'm fucking bangable as hell. <laughs> Alright, yeah, now, now we're starting to get into the ugly ones. Yeah, look, they come on the shoulders, giving it away a little too much. 
Yeah, it's like, come on, I'm not even like that built, but that's just that's too obvious. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, Chungus. Chungus. And fucking yeah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> okay, kinda cute, yeah. Oh yeah, look at me. Get it, girl. Yeah, uh for a dude I'm not too built, but uh for a girl I'm I'm pretty i I'm pretty uh I'm pretty jacked. I'm digging it. Uh, yeah, the arm hairs. I'm all hot and bothered now. Look at me. That one doesn't even look like it fucking did anything. It's just me. Okay. You know that's that that looks legit, don't it? it looks legit. <laughs> I hope you guys are having as much fun with this as I am. I'm having a great time. Oh yeah. I uh, forgot about all these. Oh, damn, my fucking neck hurts. We had a good time last night. Yeah, but, uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my lord. Evan. Uh, you guys haven't stopped. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know I had this many. Fuck. It's been a minute. Glad I saved all these, oh my god. <laughs> well, that one's not bad, but it, it seems the, yeah, the head tilt, I got that fucking head tilt thing going on. Oh <laughs> yeah, cutie. Aw, oh, damn. Look at me go, you get it, girl. <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, everything, everything from the necklace. That cup was fine. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Yep. Fucking A. Uh. Dude, this is still going. I did not think it would go on this long. Okay. That's it. We're done. Alright. Um, and so there you have it. Uh, what started as my alternate character in Monster Hunter uh, turned into a thirst trap for dudes with bad eyesight. Um, this episode's already going on pretty long. You think we have time for a song? We gotta at least play some, even if it's something short, you know? I'll, I'll whip up some real quick, just hold on. Man, you know what? I never fucking shower before I record these videos. Let me do that for once. Ugh, uh, yeah. So yeah, this is, uh, this is what I look like after I shower. This fucking hair is so pretty. Yeah, maybe now you can see the resemblance, huh? <coughs> Anyways, uh... You guys are ready for this? I mean, I'm not, <laughs> so, you know. Muscle girl, pizza pants, you know that I love you. I can't help myself, I'll eat you and nobody else. You thought I was going to play the whole song? Nah, that's all you get. See you later. <clears throat> Anyways, uh... Yeah, I don't know if anything I've done is like worth canceling me over, but maybe people will think twice about making me famous. I mean, I don't want to get canceled too hard, you know, like if I just popped up right now and flashed my dick, YouTube would kick my ass out of here. And you know, then there would be no more videos and that's no more fun for me, so... Yeah, I'll maybe push that line a little bit though, you know, maybe it was something like this. Oh, fuck you, YouTube, stop flagging my shit. Well, I was about to end the video, but hold up, who's this fool here? Yeah, check out this spicy fucker here. Look at that, that's the kind of energy we're gonna need if we wanna get me cancelled. Welcome to the channel, my dude, I think you're gonna fit in. So yeah, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Uh, you know, don't make me famous, uh, don't subscribe, you know. I'm, I'm good where I'm at, you know, so, uh, yeah, go away, bye. You're still here, go away. Uh.
I wonder if I'll ever regret making this video.